Now I fight with education, the same intensity. I fight for the freedom of people. So if you can understand this, I don't care if I live or die. Today, I am about to dive into a topic causing quite a stir. In this video, I am peeling back the layers of the strategies of Warren Buffett and Michael Burry. And who's here to guide us through their insights? The insightful author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki himself. Are you surprised to hear this? Let's talk about their perspectives and gain some valuable insights. Chapter 1. Understanding the Stock Market Let's start with what is fascinating as it is complex. Understanding the Stock Market a stock market is a bustling city where shares of companies are bought and sold like commodities. It's where investors gather to make decisions that can impact their financial futures. But what drives this marketplace? Why do prices fluctuate? And why do some investors like Buffett and Burry seem to anticipate the ups and downs? First, let's talk about the basics. Stocks represent ownership in a company. When you buy shares, you own a piece of that business. But that's the only way to do it. I mean, you have to buy businesses and you, or little pieces of businesses called stocks and you have to buy them at attractive prices and, and you have to buy them and you have to buy into good businesses. And that advice will be the same 100 years from now in terms of investing. That's that's what it's all about. The value of these shares can rise and fall based on various factors, such as a company's performance, economic conditions and even global events. This brings us to the intriguing perspective of two investing heavyweights, Warren Buffett and Michael Burry. These individuals have made a name for themselves by making wise investment decisions, often ahead of the curve. Buffett, known for his long-term approach, often reminds us that the stock market can be a roller coaster and that investing in companies with solid fundamentals is crucial. However, Burry gained notoriety for foreseeing the housing bubble and the ensuing financial disaster. So why could they be warning against it right now? Well, turmoil can still occur in the stock market. Its course can be affected by economic statistics, geopolitical developments, and market mood. The observations of Buffett and Burry may indicate possible indications of instability or overvaluation in particular industries. Chapter 2 – Insights and Strategies Let's deepen our investigation of the stock market by learning more about the principles and methods of profitable investment. I will show how Warren Buffett and Michael Burry's ideas may be leveraged to manage market dynamics by drawing on their knowledge. The Oracle of Omaha, often known as Warren Buffett, is the personification of value investment and long-term thinking. His guiding principle is to invest in shares of undervalued businesses. Known for the saying, price is what you pay, value is what you receive, emphasizes the need of placing long-term quality over passing trends. The, I, you know, I would do it exactly the same way if I were doing it in the investment world. I mean, if I were getting out of school today and I had $10,000 to invest, I'd, I'd start with the A's. I would start, I would start going right through companies and I, I probably would focus on smaller companies because I would be working with smaller sums and there's more chance that something is overlooked. Michael Burry, known for his ability to spot market movements, places a premium on comprehensive research and having a contrarian outlook when making investment selections. Moving on to tactics, Buffett's value investing tenet promotes perseverance and close investigation. It involves analyzing a company's financial health, competitive edge, and growth potential. Burry's approach centers on understanding market dynamics and identifying potential discrepancies. Diversification, a critical strategy, involves spreading investments across industries and asset classes to mitigate risk. Staying attuned to economic indicators, interest rates, and global events helps anticipate market shifts. Warren Buffett's emphasis on understanding a company's value extends beyond just its stock price. It's about understanding the very fabric of the business. Michael Burry's approach, on the other hand, zeroes in on understanding the dynamic interplay of market forces. It involves detecting subtle irregularities or imbalances that others might overlook. Chapter 3 – Anticipating a Market Shift Now we will head first into the intriguing territory of market shifts. What they are, how to spot them, and why the likes of Warren Buffett and Michael Burry are buzzing about a potential market crash. 
So, what's all the chatter about a market crash? Well, here's the scoop. Just like life itself, the stock market goes through ups and downs. It's a natural ebb and flow driven by a complex web of economic, geopolitical, and psychological factors. This is where our investing gurus come into play. They have an uncanny knack for spotting signs that hint at a potential shift in market sentiment. Think of it as reading the weather forecast for your investments. Similarly, Buffett and Burry's perspectives suggest that preparing for market turbulence is wise. But how do you know when to break out that investment umbrella? It's all about keeping your eyes peeled for signals and understanding the factors that could lead to a market shift. Economic indicators like GDP growth, inflation rates, and unemployment figures can offer valuable insights into the economy's health. Geopolitical factors such as international conflicts and trade agreements can also sway market sentiment. Michael Burry's sharp instincts have led him to identify these signals in the past, often ahead of the curve. Michael Burry, the investor who became famous for predicting the massive 2008 housing market collapse in the US, appears to have recently placed a big bet against the US stock market. Now, he was featured in Michael Lewis's book, The Big Short, which was made into a movie. His ability to connect the dots between economic data and market behavior is one of the reasons he's gained attention. Warren Buffett, with his patient approach, looks for broader economic trends and assesses the fundamental strength of companies. Chapter 4 – Lessons from Market Crashes Financial market crises are similar to unexpected thunderstorms, those seismic upheavals that send shockwaves across economies. They have the power to alter fortunes, industries, and even the course of whole countries. These accidents have served as important change agents in cautionary stories throughout history. Let's go back to the 1930s during the Great Depression. It was a period when the stock market crashed, shocking people all around the world. In order to avoid a repeat, the aftermath prompted extensive changes and the creation of regulatory authorities. The fall served as a somber reminder that the market may, in fact, experience a severe decline after an apparent inexorable rise. Let's go back to the late 1990s dot-com bubble. Investors enjoyed the thrill of the internet boom, but when the bubble broke, they saw a sudden reversal. This incident served as a clear reminder of the value of choosing firms with strong fundamentals above being sucked into market enthusiasm when investing. The good news is that market crises may also lead to life-changing insights. Diversification, or not placing all your eggs in one basket, is something that investors understand the value of. They develop an understanding of the value of risk management and the necessity of keeping a long-term perspective despite market volatility. Market crashes aren't just about doom and gloom. They're catalysts for growth and resilience. They emphasize the cyclical nature of markets and the necessity of being prepared for inevitable downturns. These collapses have yielded valuable information about the complexities of the stock market. First, they stress the significance of avoiding herd mentality, the propensity to act by the majority without completing an in-depth investigation. Crashes highlight over-speculating risks and the potential repercussions of investing simply based on trends and rumors. Second, market collapses emphasize the value of a strong financial safety net. An emergency fund and a diversified portfolio may create a cushion during tumultuous times, allowing investors to weather storms with more assurance. Expected stuff always happens, right? You got car repairs, medical bills, sudden job loss. The Bureau of Labor Statistics estimate the average household spending for 2020 was $61,334, or $5,111 per month. Using that as an example, an emergency fund covering six months would be worth roughly around $30,000. These incidents also highlighted how crucial it is to avoid allowing feelings to influence financial choices. Market collapses frequently result in anxiety and panic, which can cause impulsive behavior that may not align with long-term objectives. By maintaining a steady hand and sticking to a well-thought-out strategy, investors can navigate the storm with a higher chance of success. In essence, the lessons gleaned from market crashes are akin to a survival guide for investors. They teach us to navigate treacherous waters cautiously, make informed decisions rooted in research, and stay true to our investment principles even when the market's tides turn turbulent.
Chapter 5. Perspectives on Financial Literacy and Preparedness Now, we must focus on a topic that's not just about the stock market, but about building a foundation for financial success. Financial Literacy and Preparedness As I talk about this, I will draw inspiration from Warren Buffett and even peek into a life event of Michael Burry to understand the significance of being financially savvy. Warren Buffett has a perspective on financial literacy that resonates deeply. He said, the best investment you can make is in yourself. This speaks volumes about the value of acquiring knowledge about how money works, understanding investments, and managing finances. Michael Burry, known for his predictions that rocked the financial world, had a life-changing event highlighting the importance of preparedness. When he foresaw the housing bubble and subsequent crash, he made unconventional investment moves that ultimately paid off. This underlines the significance of being literate about financial matters and staying prepared for unexpected market shifts. Being proactive and ready to adjust your investment strategy can be the difference between weathering the storm and facing financial turmoil. So, how can you bolster your financial literacy and preparedness? Start by expanding your knowledge about various investment options, understanding how compound interest works, and grasping the basics of budgeting and saving. Don't avoid seeking expert guidance or using reliable resources to enhance your understanding. This will only make it worse for you. There are other ways in which you can set things straight. Chapter 6. Strategies for a Resilient Portfolio Solutions Now, let's delve into key strategies that can bolster your portfolio against market uncertainty, drawing inspiration from the wisdom of Warren Buffett and the insights from Michael Burry. These actionable solutions can help you construct a portfolio primed for both resilience and potential opportunities. Warren Buffett's Value Investing Approach Seek companies with strong fundamentals, solid earnings, and durable competitive advantages. Uh, in, 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 in evaluation, but they're all value, they're all value decisions. Uh, a company that pays no dividends, growing 100% a year, you know, is losing money now. That's, that's a value decision. You have to decide how much value you're going to get. Identify undervalued businesses with long-term growth potential. Invest in what you understand, avoiding chasing fleeting market trends. Diversification for risk mitigation. Spread investments across various industries and asset classes to reduce risk exposure. Create a safety net through diversification to counter unexpected market events. Michael Burry's Contrarian Insights Embrace thorough research and independent analysis, even when it contradicts popular sentiment. Be prepared for unconventional outcomes, avoiding herd mentality that leads to risky choices. Effective Risk Management Understand associated risks with each investment and establish a clear risk mitigation plan. Implement measures like setting stop-loss orders, managing position sizes, and staying disciplined during market turbulence. The long-term perspective. Align your strategy with a focus on the bigger picture and the potential for quality investments to weather short-term market fluctuations. Finally, before I conclude this video, I encourage you to reflect on the pearls of wisdom shared by Warren Buffett and Michael Burry. Their insights illuminate a path toward informed investing and financial resilience. Remember, the world of finance is dynamic, but armed with knowledge, patience, and a well-crafted strategy, you can confidently navigate its twists and turns. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And in case you want to hear more news like this, you can simply click here to watch my next video.